Hey guys, this is Daniel. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about all the things that are wrong with this car and why I chose to get this car for my son. Um, the first and foremost uh, reason why I got this car is this. Another reason why I got this car was even though it's 14 years old, most of the features still exceed the features of brand new cars uh, or other used cars for that matter. Uh, when this car was brand new, it was state of the art. There is a few things missing like uh, Bluetooth, but there's a phone adapter, which you can do phone, but you can't stream Bluetooth music, which uh, every 16 year old probably wants to do. And another reason, it's, it's just gorgeous. Look at it. But there are a few things wrong with the car. And if you're not comfortable wrenching on your own car, you probably should buy a new one and pay the lease or financing, whatever it is. With this one, repairs could be very expensive if you decide to take it to a Mercedes dealer. But if you can install a light switch or a fan at home, there's very little that could go wrong with this car that you couldn't do yourself. Um, and these cars have been engineered so well that repairs don't take too long and doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to do it. Plus there's a big wealth of information online on how to do it. I looked it up. So let's talk about some of the features. Self-closing doors. It even got seat heating. You got tons of levers. And everything is automated. Vents in the rear. Even mirrors. Tons of other options. automatic climate control and navigation even voice command and under the hood a big v8 so since i got the car we've done oil change we've done transmission cooler line we have done spark plugs we've cleaned the air filters because they're knn we also replaced all four inside air filters just the standard maintenance you would do on any used car that you would get we did a lot of cleaning and we're still cleaning and we find spots that still need to be cleaned. Um, but the seat heating for the bottom bolster doesn't work. The electric automatic soft closer retractor for the trunk doesn't work. The trunk closes just fine. It just doesn't have the soft close feature like the doors. One door doesn't have a soft close feature. Um, the little diaphragm on the inside broke. The mirrors won't go up and down when you're in reverse. They will go up and down perfectly but, uh, uh, when you adjust it manually, but they won't go down when you put the car in reverse. It's probably a sensor. No reason for me to change it. The sunroof won't auto-close all the way. You have to manually force it, but it's not a big deal. So what else needs to be done? We have some lift supports, which we're doing today. Uh, we are going to try to fix the sunroof uh, just cleaning up, re-lubricating it. Maybe it's a sensor um, that won't let it close all the way. There, in the future, we need to uh, do the bearings on the drive shaft. There's a lot of things you can get, but nothing that's as safe as this. Um, and yeah, I'll probably hear some complaints and arguing and whatnot, but you really want your 16-year-old to drive a Civic or one of these. This car should get him through college if maintained properly. You can probably get these cars from maybe about $3,000 to about $10,000. My biggest concern was the power of the engine. 305 horsepower, 339 foot-pounds of torque. It is a lot of power. It is fast. If you're concerned about that with your child, there is an S430 out there with a little bit less power. S320, if you can find them, they're hard to find in Florida. Uh, most people here drive the S500. But an S320 with the V6, there's plenty of power, plenty of room and it is safe. Did I mention it's safe? It is safe. Um, I hope nothing ever will happen, but if something happens, I'd rather have it happen in this car than any other car. So if I haven't made a believer out of you yet, go drive one, not a Mercedes. Drive a BMW, a 7 Series. Drive an Audi S-Class, S8 or A8. Uh, you're not only paying for the features that these cars have, you're also paying for the safety. An A8 Audi will be safer than an A4. 
an S-Class Mercedes will be safer than a C-Class Mercedes. There's just so much more up front that uh, has to crumble before it gets to the passengers on the inside. This car in particular um, has a pre-safe uh, and it will apply up to 20% braking power uh, in case of a crash, it will close the sunroof, it will straighten up the seats, it will strap down uh, your seat buckle. If you have the Distronic system, it will actually brake for you, which is a system that's not even available in most new cars. A lot of them are coming out right now with that automatic braking and we're talking about 2018. This is a 2004 car. If you decide to buy one used, I would definitely recommend you take it to a Mercedes dealer. They have a full inspection for used vehicles, uh, like a pre-purchase inspection. If you buy it from Mercedes, they already went through the pre-purchase inspection. You do want to know everything that's wrong. If there's certain things you don't know how to change, it will get expensive. Just for example, I did the spark plugs, including the tools for less than $100. Mercedes wanted $1,100. The brakes can be a few thousand dollars for Mercedes. You can do it yourself for probably less than 400. We have changed the fan. Mercedes, I believe, wanted $1,500, $1,600 for it. We got it done for, I believe, a couple hundred bucks. There's a video on it um, on my channel. The transmission cooler line cost me $200 through a mechanic who specializes in German cars. It was just a little line with a little bit of transmission fluid. 200 bucks or just under $200. Again, Mercedes wanted 1600 for that, which is a little bit rich for me. And if the car was brand new, I would spend the money, but the car isn't, the car is 14 years old. All I'm saying, go check one out. Doesn't matter if it's an S-Class or an E-Class, an A6 or an A8, or a five or a seven series BMW. Just go drive one. You will notice the difference right away. These cars stay newer for longer. This one is 14 years old. The seats are in great shape. So go find one. What are you waiting for?